Oh, there we go. Hello, folks. Welcome back. I am the one, the only. I am a hobo Thomas here. I want to see if I can fix this a little bit. There we go. I can always just sit on back. There we go. So the top of my head's not cut off. Ah, comfy chair. Yep, you know, I'm wrestling my wrestling shirt. So therefore, it's time to talk about some SmackDown. I'll tell you what. Vince learned his lesson, though. This was a much better SmackDown. I know I'm getting a little bit scruffy here. Um, this is my paid vacation week. Thank you, coronavirus. Because I'm going to get paid vacation for one week. One week only, because after that week, I need to get work. And I'll find work somehow. I think... Again, listening to what President Trump said, he's like, you know, this cure can't be worse than a disease. I do think he's right about that. And honestly, it's like, you know, another couple of weeks, another week, a week or so. Oh, please, just one more week. And things are okay. Some people get sick. I mean, I know in the north it's it's, it's terrible flu season I'm here in Florida I have the, you can't see it but I have the ceiling fan going I have like windows one, two, three, four, four. I have like eight windows open in the house it's comfy here in Florida so again it's kind of hard to argue but with that being said I have a lot of shout outs to give jeez you mentioned like two words some rust and wow everyone has an opinion about it and actually they agree with you kind of funny so let's see here the absent one you sir thank you i think you were the first one that responded you get that six count Pistroli six 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 six. You sir, again, thank you. I think you put 
I forget what you put. If I know you respond to something I said, so therefore you sort of mastered the air drums. What are we trying to see here? Rob Van Sten. You saw our listings here. Briefcase Boombox. C11 N7. That's not Chopper, no. You, sir, can crawl out of here. <laughs> GN Pop F. You sure always seem to win by dirty pen. Gordo, Gordo. You, sir, are a member of the El Generico Band. And you'd best play Chugga. You know what I say to you, sir? Holy shit. Well, I'm not going to go that deep. It's, it's good to say. I'd like to thank everyone for your comments there over on the Discord. And 420 Chan, thank you very much for hosting that all the time. Um, I guess you probably realize that it's set, it's Monday, and there was no wrestling show again. I put a major announcement. They canceled Rey de Reyes. I have no idea when that's going on again. Um, everyone, I'm sure, has heard the news that the Impact. Oh, Wait, yeah, I forget if the Impact. Well, the special show this weekend was canceled. NWA is postponed, I think. Uh, WrestleMania is going to be over two days, April 4th, 4 5, and yeah, 4 4. Yeah, 4 4. 
which was Friday. Oh, no, Saturday. So four fours is Saturday. Four five. So I have, I have to remember the mirror image. It's going to be Sunday. So the first day of WrestleMania, I think I'm just going to do a review for it. Uh, on Sunday, I'll be doing a live stream. I'll be back, baby. Baby! So I'll be happy. Uh, there is no takeover. Uh, I think I'm going to do a lot more live stream, depending a lot on my work schedule. So it depends with that. Um, then once the beginning of April turns around, I'll be back to live streaming. I know what I and I can't do. I think the other big thing is that I think SummerSlam I'm gonna get Macho Man. I'm gonna get only because I feel like it. Because they have the one out team of the crop tower. That's good. And the other one I want the purple one because that just looks amazing. Actually, both look great. Um, and then. I might be getting. Come on, you can shout pretty far. I don't need a snowball. I don't know. I could get a snowball. And I'll also see what happens with my financial situation. I might get a projector screen. So that way I can have it on the screen and post it up there so that I can have a triple mania party. Oh, wait. Baka, baka, baka. Hey. Yep. So I have triple mania party. So enough about that. That's that's not for the future. That's not till August. That's a while away. I just got my check for the federal government. Um, uh, if they again supposedly send another thousand to twelve hundred people, I'm not banking on that. Well, one, it's gonna go. For at least a thousand of it's going for the truck. Because I'll need that come July. And then, I'll tell you what, a thousand there. If I got 12, put 100. Yeah, so if, even if I put. Yeah, I could figure out a way if I could get that mini projector. That'd be pretty cool. Put a white sheet up over the doors. Triple media party. Ah. Oy. Well, enough about that nonsense. Let's talk about some raw. Um, this was this was pretty good. Vince definitely learned his lesson. He learned how to make a taped program because this was a lot better. Uh, I'll run through things pretty quickly. Paul Heyman does his inner does his promo. Drew McIntyre cuts his promo. Then all of a sudden we go back to ring in the performance center. Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar sitting in the ring. Like he's going to promo school. Promo school 303, right before uh, promo school 411, and graduation's over. Then there was a little segment. Oh, Paul Heyman used some great, great words. First, he called Drew McIntyre a bitch, and then he douched out. I don't even know if that's even a word. Because that's taking a noun and turning it to a verb. I'm pretty sure there's some rule about English conventions about that. Oh, yeah, I have to shave tomorrow. So tomorrow, probably when I do my Impact show, it won't be NWA. I'll probably be clean shaving because I'm going out Wednesday. I need to get out of the house. I just... It's... I've been out and about. I almost fought with someone at Academy Sports. They're like, oh, you have to maintain this blue space. Like, fuck you. So like, I just want to take a look at like, dude, no one else is here. So like, honestly, like 10 people in the store, in a big store too. I got the two things I need for fishing. I always need swivels. Well, I need swivels mainly for the rubber here because that's just the nasty brackish water. I did get my two ocean swivels because might as well. I know he's needs some Bicky rigs. Maybe one day I'll take a video of me fishing. You never know. If a hobo goes fishing, that'll, that'll be like a special thing. Oh, then also don't forget, um, 
Easter is going to be a Daytona Beach Bum Fight League special, so that's coming up in a few weeks too. So I'll be good. Let's see here. What else did I miss? So Undertaker, then we have a recap of the contract signing. Then they talked about the 2015 Royal Rumble, John Cena versus Brock Lesnar versus... Who was it? Oh, yeah, Seth Rollins. Why did I put Brock's name down twice? It doesn't matter. Just ended. Brock just suplexed everyone. Everyone knows how that went. AJ Styles did a recap. Oh, I also learned something. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, the ravishing Russian Lana. Happy birthday to you. Yep, today was Lana's birthday. I saw that somewhere, so happy birthday, Lana. Thank you for, for all the multiple panty shots you've shown us throughout the years. Uh, then the spear. Then there was uh, AJ Styles got a promo. He called him Mark Calloway. Oh, the death of kayfabe. Well, I do remember when The Undertaker was mean Mark Calloway in WCW or NWA. That's the weird time where it was kind of both. And then even before that, he was Texas Red. I, I forget if it was Memphis, Big South, or Crockett Promotions, but that was a long time ago, though. I just know he was Texas Red, and he was Mean Mark Calloway. He had the heart punch. I think it was The Undertaker. And the cool Undertaker, too. So he called him Mark Calloway. And then I'll tell you what, I don't know how he. Got that photo up. I want to have a photo up of me in a swimming pool with a tiger, too. I don't care what they say. Bodger that. I want to be with a tiger. That just seems so cool. I'm the Undertaker, and I'm using the powers of darkness to save tigers. Like, my name is Hobo Tom, and I, I, I like tigers. And I just want to go swimming with the tiger, and hopefully the tiger won't attack me. Because there are, I think that was one of the things, if I ever worked at a zoo, I'd want to work with a big cat. That just seems like fun. Because monkeys will throw shit at you. Snakes, I don't care, they'll just bite you. Birds will also just poop on you and bite things off you. Like working with tigers through like the big cats, especially if you kind of if they're if they're raised in captivity or you get them when they're young enough, you they realize that you're not necessarily a plaything or dinner. That just seems like so cool. So elephants are just too big to like knock you over. Rhinos don't seem that bright. Alligators are just no, like not, that's that's no boy. I don't know lemurs too. That are working with like guinea pigs or something like that. Oh, they they nibble a lot though. Like what is it? Napiers have like these huge beaver teeth. Beavers tend to be nasty too. So yeah, I want to work with. That would be cool. My own kitty cat would probably be... smell a lion on you. You're, like, You're cheating on me, you fat bastard. I have to figure out how to get... Yeah, I have to do that too. That's okay. That's a whole other project. Uh, so then... We have our 12th announced WrestleMania match. We have the Street Profits taking on Andrade! And Angel Garza. Andrade and Angel Garza are also going to have different matches. So they'll probably be like Saturday. And then the tag team match will be Sunday. And then Charlie's out there. 
Charlie's like blushing. Because she's just like, because Angel Garden is just being a total cast and over there, douchebag person. Because he's just there saying, Charlie. And Charlie's like, ooh, 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 ooh. And like, Zelina Vega's like, no, Charlie, focus. I'm, I'm, I'm talking now. Focus on Andrade, my man Andrade. Actually, your man's Lena Vega, Alistair Black. But again, that's the kayfabe, though. So this was great. She's like, Charlie's Angel Garza. Actually, I think that's that's what I mentioned for, for Piss Roll 66666 about. So, dude, you saw my tag. Like, hey, Charlie's Angel Garza. Uh, then Edge came out with a promo. And then we have our first match, first real match of the night. We have Andrade and Angel Garza taking on Ricochet and Cedric Alexander. This is actually a pretty fast-paced match. Uh, starts off with Ricochet just running into the ring. Goes right after Andrade and Angel Garza at the same time. Again, he, he just goes there. And then eventually Cedric Alexander is like, Oh, he started without me. Then you go back to back. Again, Ricochet is so good to watch. He just starts to beat up Andrade. Clubbing blows to the back. It was great. Thud, baby. They ain't no slaps here. That's the thud. Yeah, I like me some thud with some thud. And of course, I can't drink either, so I can't have my suds. But I can hear the thuds, though. I think it's probably like the least likely to be injured just a form to the back. It's like thump. Makes a great sound, though. Uh, then, so Angel Garza eventually gets his tag in. Uh, he, 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 I love the way he always finds a way to take his pants off. That's creative. Angel Garza, you know what? He's he's gonna woo people. He has no idea what what personal space means. He's like, oh yeah, see, si, Senora, he's Charlie. Oh, oh, I have no concept of personal space. It's like, we'll make our own personal space. Baby! Um, and Garza, uh, again, Andrade being to work over arm of Ricochet again. Done that a couple times. Angel Garza. <laughs> he actually goes after Ricochet's arms. And then somehow... He ripped the tag rope off because the ref said you have to hold on to the tag rope. So he undid the tag rope, brought it all the way to the other side, other side of the ring. And the ref's like, well, "What are you doing?" He's like, "But I'm holding the tag rope." No, you have to get back there in the corner. Stop destroying the tag rope. The referee's like yelling, and I was like, "Why are you destroying my ring?" That was good. I like that. Angel Garza, he he's all charisma. He's great. Um. Yeah, so Rick shows, again, they, uh, Street Profits come out. They show up on the commentary. They're really good. They start yelling, which is good to see because before they were just yelling in the ring. Zena Vega has a great voice. It carries. But I do like the fact that WWE learned and the fact that they need at least cheerleaders there. They need some wrestlers or they need more than the commentators to give you the action. And just to hear Zelina Vega, the voices actually fill up the arena a lot more. That's a good thing. So it's not like you're just having an empty, a, wrestle, a basic wrestling match in an empty arena. Again, boiler room brawl, brawls work great. The AEW parking lot brawl, that's the street fight, that's going to be freaking amazing. Unless they, I don't even know how you could screw that up. Um, again, if you're going to have any kind of hardcore match, it's like, well, we can't sanction it, so we can't have people really witness the violence. But we'll put it on TV. So, yeah. So again, this was a creative way to, again, Vince learned a lesson. It's always good to see, or someone learned a lesson. Uh, then again, there was a pop-up double team, the kick into their hips. Ooh, that hurt. Uh, the heels eventually, I say ricochet. There was a slingshot into a drop kick from the sunset flip. How, again, the chain wrestling of this was amazing. Uh, ricochet eventually did uh, hit a desperation, hurt a cron off. 
while Andrade was on the top, seeing on the top rope. Cedric has the hot tag. Uh, Cedric has a rope assisted flatliner. That's great. Uh, then you have the reverse suplex into a moonsault by Angel Garza, the catch drop kick. That was fun to see. Uh, Ricochet then, and he clears the rings. And uh, at least Lena Vega is loud. Uh, Cedric, again, the drop toll into the turnbuckle, the double flapjack. Again, that was great. The only problem, I think, with this match it was kind of a boshy finish at the end. And I don't know if it was the referee's fault, but he's like, one, two. Oh, okay, three. So it was just a weird, it was a weird ending to a, actually a really good match. And if they just had a little bit better rhythm at the end, this would have been much better. Overall, though, this is a cheeseburger match. Next up, we have the Street Profits taking on Vank and Thorn. Like, they're bringing up NXT talent so early. Um, they did good, though. I'll tell you what. This is the most offense, most jobber tag teams get against any main roster t talent. So this was this was impressive. Again, Vank and Thorn, they did a lot to be at the Street Profits. They're like, oh, hey, oh hey, what, what, are these, what are these two blokes doing? This should be our spot. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. And I'll have a shrimp on the bobby, and I'll have a Vegemite sandwich, mate. You know, Foster's. Because Foster's is Australian for beer. I wonder what's, a, I wonder what's Australian for jobbers. Shane Thorne is Australian for jobbers. I know when they were with TM61, he was the T of TM. And 61 is the Australian phone code, I think. Like the first numbers. Like USA is 1, Australia is like 61. And then you have like some ridiculous numbers. Um, and then I forget what happened to the other guy. I think he like went back to Australia. I'm actually shocked that both these guys are here after all what's happened in Australia. I wonder if they have a coronavirus in Australia. Because I know in like parts of like Farmville, Nebraska, Idaho, like Idaho, they don't even care. I think the other states, it was, um, oh yeah, there were five states that like don't care about the coronavirus. Idaho, which makes sense. Nebraska makes sense. Maine makes sense. Iowa, that makes sense. And Wyoming. So, some of those states have like point something population per square mile. So it makes sense, but whatever. Again, I'm hearing now, just a, and this is by no way an official news thing, that things should be, be getting back to normal like, a few weeks at most. I mean, hopefully for my situation, hopefully it's like next week. Cause hey, I can use a paid vacation. If, if this wasn't Lent, I'd be having a coronavirus party, baby. Baby. Uh, Thorne actually did the cannonball. Let's get back to wrestling. Dawkins again. Uh, that cross neck chop, almost a near pounce. Uh, then of course, three pop take control. Uh, Montez Ford does a frog splash. He gets some height in that. Uh, again, this was a good, quick showcase match. This is a cheeseburger match. Then there's our, they show um, our truth rolling up Riddick Moss while he's shocking, and he's like, Riddick Moss knew something was screwed because it's like, ref, you can't afford to be in this area. Not with that crappy car. I know what you're doing here. Get out of here. Where our truth runs upon him, rolls him up. Uh, okay, it was a can of soup. Then there was the Alistair Black Bobby Lashley match. And I'm going to say that's number 13. So that makes sense. So, uh, seven matches a day. That sounds about right. They'll probably still, they still have time to add in a few more. I'll have to get this done soon, too. Uh, then, 
probably the most awkward interview ever was was Charlie and Shannon Baszler. I thought Shannon Baszler was going to do very uncomfortable things to poor little Charlie. I think that's where I got a lot of comments because I said, oh my God, are we going to see a lesbian R session? A, a, a prison bull, bull R lesbian style. Bull rape. Like prison style. And it's like, Shannon had that look. It's like, dude, Ch Charlie's getting it somehow. Or, or, or Shannon's getting something. Maybe not the best thing, but and then until Becky comes in out of the darkness, because they, because they did set the ambiance, they blackened the arena, had the two spotlights, one on Charlie, one on Shayna, so they actually couldn't see Becky smack her in the back of the chair. So that'll be an interesting match. Then Alistair Black came up for his match against Leon Ruff. Yeah, whatever. Uh, he does two things. He already sits three things. He sits down, catches a kick, Leon Ruff through and then one black mask and it's over Hand, uh, it's a can of soup three minutes now and then Kevin Owens does a promo Seth Rollins yep asking you shall receive well, well, he has to he has to he has to get off that uh, there was then again the next match televised was Flair versus Asuka from WrestleMania 2018, I forget which one it was, the one in New Orleans. 34? Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, that was okay. Uh, then, then Charlie, again, she, she's, had, she's had an interesting night. She, the Angel Guard is a hitting on her. And, and yeah, she, she, she got a little moist down there too with Angel Garza. Then she was absolutely terrified because Shannon Baser was going to make Charlie do stuff. They like they do in prisons at night in closed cells. Um and then she had to interview Charlotte Flair. So that was she's like, oh thank God it stays over. And then we have Randy Orton says Edge, I'm gonna put an end to the radar superstar. And that was raw. Overall it was actually a kind of fun raw. Everything they did was good. I mean, the two matches were, were what they were going to be. I'll tell you what, even though I'll be generous, this was a... Actually, this was a ham sandwich of a show. Which is pretty good considering what it was last time. That's it. Um, that was raw. They're learning. Slow learning curve. Hopefully this doesn't go and go on too much longer. I think they do have a bunch of tape stuff. Because I've heard they've been like taping like every so often a little bit this last week and a little bit and today they're gonna keep on like doing like tape things throughout the week. So so we'll see what happens. Uh, again the schedule for this week. Tuesday will be impact. Uh Wednesday or Thursday. Because I am going out Wednesday. I'm gonna break curfew. Gonna be a criminal. Uh so Thursday I might do the AEW review, Friday's down, Saturday's nothing, Sunday's nothing. So I get to tranquil for a little bit. Again, everyone stay well out there. Um, again, be positive. Don't let things get the better of you. If you, if you go out, just be mindful of stuff. I'll be going out tomorrow. You know what? I mean, just don't, like, rub against people. But in, if you rub against people like here in Daytona Beach, the coronavirus is the least of your issues. Yeah, and everyone else, take care.